everyone, and I am back to talk about Stranger Things for episode three, title chapter three, the monster and the superhero. And this episode, I found it was good. I thought it was a good episode. I, I mean, I think I am like very interested in and in interest on the kids and their story and their their relationship and their journey and the mystery of what's going on. It does feel like this creature, this monster. That has been in the trailers and is kind of like the big bad who's been leaning up to everything. It does feel like he is there to get trauma. He's there to trigger the trauma and then using fear as a technique. God damn it, it's Nightmare Elm's way. He is Freddy Krueger. I mean, you know, the design of the guy is very 80s. It's a very 80s design. But I found... But, you know, it works, you know, because it is a whole, this whole show is like a merge to the 80s. But here's also the thing about, I really don't, I think I'm not that invested with Hopper. I, f- I find that Hopper, I know he's a fan favorite character, but sometimes story comes first. And Natalie Wise, for me personally, I felt like Hopper should have stayed dead. You know, this ad thing of him being a washer and all that, I just, yeah, just doesn't work for me. But, we got, I got four, five, six, and seven. We got four more episodes till the end of volume one. And, um, see you then. When I talk about episode four, which is how I did Billy.